okay welcome back to my channel so this is our new money in taurus messages okay we have the new money in taurus which happening on the 19th 19th of may 2023 in this video i'll be channeling messages for my earth sign okay <laughs> I switched up camera position and um, setting, <laughs> even my equipment, I switched it up. So this is me trying to break in and ensure that we have a very good coverage and a very good recording. Please let me know in the comment section, how have you been? I've missed you guys so, so much, but I was told to sit my ass down by spirit. <laughs> Because I needed to integrate to new learnings and new levels and new awareness. So thank you so much for being here. I'm really, really excited to be able to do this. I'm so grateful to be able to do what I do. And if you are new here, thank you for visiting my channel. Please make sure you like, subscribe, and then share this video with someone who, someone who would benefit from watching this video, okay? All right, so let's jump right in. <laughs> you know, if I started YouTube video recording, I didn't think about the amount of work YouTubers had to put into creating these videos. But from camera to setup to editing, it's a whole lot aside from the creative work. And then multiply that like with gazillions, especially if you are a spiritual worker, because channeling messages that's a totally different thing <laughs> all right i'm going to leave the camera alone i'm just going to go <laughs> thank you so thank you ancestors thank you spirit guides thank you for everyone who is watching this video thank you for everyone who can hear my voice thank you for everyone who has a message to receive through this video Thank you. Please let the right words, let the words that be most impactful, that be most resonating, flow from, from my mouth. Ashe. Okay, so this message is for my beautiful Taurus. Okay, first cards out for the deck. My beautiful Taurus. Ooh, baby. So, first card out of the deck. We've got three cards. I've got rose petals all over my table because you know it's Taurus is Venusian energy so three cards out of the deck first things first okay so we've got Ilaria which is showing me that this is a time of intense research for you some of you may find yourself going back to school asking your elders question asking experts in your field have they done some things if not verbally asking them some of this might be reading their biographies reading their published work going through their journals there's also but there's a lot of scientific like it's a, the scientific process is very very heavy around you right now like the energies of doing research investigation examining um creating hypotheses testing out your ideas so you've gotten some hypothetical ideas to work on and now spirit is saying you are this in the new moon energy is giving you the opportunity to expand on these ideas by testing them out almost like carrying out experiments on your different ideas to see which is what is its salt and you're not doing it alone you're doing it you can, can you see the can you see the faint outlines of the ancestors okay so spirit is saying you're not doing this alone you're doing this with your ancestors you're doing it with your spirit guides you're doing it with you're doing it with those that have gone ahead of you in this journey so don't think you're doing it alone okay the second card that popped out of the deck for you is um flow of energy stellarly which is flow let your emotions flow can you see the blueness the blueness is emotions can you see the powerful waterfall and the eye tattoo so imagine if you were standing under this waterfall how forceful would the would the what has be imagine if you're standing on the how forceful would what has be like cascading down your head so spirit is saying whatever emotions are coming up for you over this period over the next four weeks i remember the new moon energy literally carries us for the six months until the full moon when we see the completion of what we've been working on so over this new moon spirit is saying 
gather your emotions but don't hold on to them let them flow let them flow let them flow in picture yourself every time and you know yes taurus you might be a bit stubborn you might be a bit resistant you might be a bit small stuck and rigid in your ways you kind of like hold on to emotions because that's your energy a fixed earth sign you really need to sit in your emotions you steal over things you take more time to process your emotions but spirit is saying this new moon in taurus is giving you giving you the opportunity to let your emotions flow whatever emotions are coming up for you let them flow let them flow freely just imagine like you are standing on the waterfall you're standing on a very powerful range what do you call those shower heads that are very, very powerful? Imagine you're standing under them and you're letting the water flow through you, let it mist through you, let it go through you, okay? Because Spirit is saying that you have the you have the you have the power right now. This is the queen. Can you see she's a queen and she's standing so strong? She's a queen of power, okay? She's standing so strong, she's balanced, she knows who she is, she knows what she brings to the table. She knows that if she harnesses her creativity, her imagination, her ideas, her thoughts, she can easily create things into reality with the aid of the creative power of the sun, okay? So the moon is here illuminating our imaginations, illuminating our eating. A hidden side illuminating a spirituality in illuminating the things that are unseen that are still more evolved in the unseen realm she can channel she can take in all those ideas as they are coming and she can turn them into physical manifestation on our real inner can turn them into realistic things she can turn it into physical things she can turn it into practical ideas on our physical plane okay for some of you, you are also getting the opportunity to showcase yourself and what you're capable of you're getting the opportunity to show people what you are capable of and you're taking up more responsibility more authorities being given to you in your place of work especially in how you use natural resources either you're assigned some money to be able to carry out a project and you do it very well because you are able to see how you can use every little amount every cent every penny how you can use it to achieve your overall goal but i see you getting a lot more responsibility I and mean, responsibility comes great authority because for you to be given responsibility for some things it means that you're capable of it and you're trusted and you're trustworthy of being able to deliver okay okay so spirit is saying your emotions are coming up for you very strongly under this new moon in taurus how are you going to use your emotions are you going to let your emotions overpower you or are you going to rise up let your emotions flow because your emotions are simply information so are you going to rise up let your emotions flow so that you can channel those emotions that literally stand in your power as the queen of emotions do you understand that to literally stand in your power as the queen even if you're a male, standing as a queen means that you know your place, you know your worth, you know what you bring to the table and you don't let anyone deny you of your opportunity to showcase what you bring to the table. So let's see what's causing these emotions that may want them, that they may be kind of hold on to. Okay, some of this is around fear courage like you're scared to proceed on some of the ideas you've been thinking about you are scared to take a step towards them you are wary of how people perceive you or how people receive your ideas right so spirit is saying don't be afraid this is angel michael swimming into <laughs> I resonate a lot with mermaids, so don't mind me with swimming. But this is Angel Michael appearing in your reading to show you to be of good faith, to have some courage. Can you see the way the heart chakra is emphasized? Okay, and the children are clinging on to him because they know. So, you know, with children, if you are a responsible adult in presence of children, how you express yourself also makes it easy for them to express themselves spontaneously if you don't withdraw if you don't withhold your emotions if you don't withhold your expressions you make it almost like you give them free room to also do the same so in this reading angel michael is coming in to give you the courage so some of you might really have been afraid of, you might be afraid to put your thoughts and ideas forward 
you don't know how people are going to accept them you don't know if your thoughts would have warm reception but spirit is saying go all for it go on don't be scared okay you've got this you can do it there's nothing to be worried about okay let's see let's see what message is coming from your throat chakra remember taurus rules throat let's see okay so it's the same thing <laughs> so do it for you don't be scared don't be scared of whatever anyone is thinking don't be scared of what anyone will say don't be scared to think that your idea is so far out there that it will turn people away trust that if the idea has come to you is because spirit like consciousness the universe is trying to manifest it into reality and you are the worthy recipient of those ideas so you are very 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 worthy of being the one to actually bring ideas into a practical reality into physical manifestation even if you feel like it hasn't been done before or even if you feel like the idea is so far out there is so outrageous it's so different go for it don't be scared more than anything do it for you because in the end you wouldn't want to have any regrets that oh you wish you carried out oh you wish you followed your thoughts oh you wish you did this oh you wish you did that okay so do it for you can see she's wearing a sundress and it's very clear like it's snowing but she doesn't feel the cold because she is all her thoughts are inward when you bridge it when you focus inward you are able to express your true authenticity and you're able to stand in yourself and in your authority your authenticity helps you to stay in integrity with yourself which is what gives you the authority which is what enables people to see you for who you truly are but if you keep shying away from being yourself then that's where the problem is going to come from okay so let's see What does your body want you to know? Okay, so some of you might be holding on to some habits that you've outgrown. You might be holding on to these habits from more from um more from a place of you're used to this, you're used to doing this thing. Some of them might be drug use, some of them might not be drug use, some of them might be over dependency. It might be codependent behaviors, patterns over depending on substance use to give you, you know, some courage to proceed. It might be over dependency on on being accepted or being with a group. I mean, really hearing like almost like yeah, depending on your relations with your group. Like if you can't, if your group doesn't agree with what you're going to do, you'll be taking a back or you don't want to do it so this is still an emphasis on your message for which is really like you don't need those things you really don't need those things to fly you really don't need those things to excel you really don't need those things to be yourself because everything you need is actually already within you and that's the beauty of life everything we need is always within us at every point in time but it's up to us to harness it and the part of the truth about adulting becoming an adult is really 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 on learning all those things you've learned and you thought that and you thought that you needed becoming an adult will make you realize that a lot of the things you learned a lot of the things you've you've added onto your armory onto yourself onto your identity they are actually things that weigh you down so you can see she had to cut off the, the smaller wings and she had to cut off the longer wings and then she realized she actually didn't even need the wings to fly because she was naturally held up by the wind okay she didn't need the wings to fly because the wind naturally held her up okay so that's what she, this new moon in taurus is bringing up for you to make you realize that some of those people you think you need some of like almost like their permission their consent their authorization their agreement you know you don't actually need them you can do what you want to do by yourself because it's been given to you and if they don't see the vision you are the one who has been given the vision okay you are the one that's been given the vision and for anything work on your vision for you and bring it into reality okay so let's see 
one final card for you because even from that is still the same you can always rewrite your story so whatever you think you're afraid of it's always it is always going to be up to you to actually walk through your fears okay so let's see one final card for my beautiful taurus i have like different desk <laughs> decks <laughs> lined up i'm trying to decide on one to use okay so let's see um let's see what's the final message for my beautiful taurus was a block they have to receiving because you know taurus energy is very venusian you're very attractive so your power lies in being able to stay back stay in your power stand in your power standing in your power knowing everything you need is coming to you so let's see what do block do you have to receiving okay so first of all you might be sleeping a bit too much <laughs> Might be sleeping a bit too much and not we not all that was you yes you you're taking too much time i'm also hearing procrastination over sleeping like being being not what's that word not being timely with your actions like procrastinating when you know you should be doing sleeping when you know you should be working putting like always giving excuses to yourself those are the things stopping you from receiving all the abundance that is coming to you okay um so spirit is saying watch that sleep when you know you should sleep don't stay up too late don't stay up too late because i'm also hearing like you might be like staying up too late and then in the morning you find it you find it difficult to wake up and get started on working on your ideas and bringing them to fruition okay also make sure that you carry out like the initial steps so for example if you're trying to create a product make sure that you know what you need what resources you need what tools you need what's your distribution do the groundwork make sure like you secure your idea so if you need to patent it if you need to register a business if you need to speak with some suppliers if you need to speak with some some other companies who are going to help you bring together these ideas do so don't wait until the last minute before you do so because i'm hearing like you guys are not using time as you should so time and time is don't forget time is an asset time is a resource if you're not using time as you should then you are misusing the opportunities and that's stopping you from receiving all the beautiful blessings coming your way remember i said i had been given more authority and more responsibility this new money in taurus is putting is setting you up to step into positions of more authority and responsibility and one of the blocks to receiving that is procrastinating not doing what you know you should do at the right time delaying things until the last minute now the other thing is also knowing that your that your intuition would never lead you wrong your intuition will never lead you wrong your intuition should guide you in the direction to go stop looking for assurance or guidance or directions from sources that are external to you your intuition will guide you in where you should go to next and i feel like some of you you might be needing to travel even if it's just a short trip but i'm seeing like I'm hearing travel opportunities are coming up for you that you might be resistant to take because you think it's out of the way or it's not in alignment. Almost like, oh, it's different from where everybody's going to. Why do I feel like going to that place? But your guts, your instinct, your mind, your dreams have been showing that, okay, that's the direction in which you should head to, but you are being reluctant to go in that direction because everyone else is going in the other direction, okay? So, Spirit is saying, do it for you, okay? So, if you look here, this is a man, is in a chariot, okay? And chariot means there's a movement, there's change coming in, but the change is internal, like the change is directed from internal. Okay, baby, so overall i would say for this new money in taurus let your emotions flow you have a lot of research background work to do don't sleep on them don't procrastinate don't leave things until the last minute you're having a lot of responsibility coming up for you 
you have a lot of responsibility coming up for you. Release all those codependencies ten tendency. Release your codependency tendency. And some of this might be friends or teammates that you are used to working with. Okay, so I'm also hearing for some of you, you might need to switch your positions or your jobs. Like you are still in going to be in the same industry, but you need to switch like your work colleagues or your work environment which is where the change is also coming in for some of you you've been getting the message to make this leap but you've not been wanting to maybe because you have friends at your workplace and you feel like oh you all have gotten there and you don't want to for some of you it's also about stepping up into positions of leadership and you don't want to step into those that position of leadership because then you'll be a leader to your former colleagues and you don't think they will like it but spirit is saying this is the right time for you Okay, so don't delay on what you need to do. Don't procrastinate. Don't keep it until the last moment. And don't be afraid to learn from others. Don't be afraid to learn from the authorities, the experts that have gone ahead in front of you. Don't be afraid to ask your ancestors for help. There's a lot of research work need to do some of you are going back to complete your masters if you've not some of you are going back to apply for your masters and it's going to it's not just going to be um a, a theoretical one you're going to have to do some research work okay all right my beautiful taurus that was your message for the new morning taurus please like and subscribe to my channel if this video resonated make sure you share with someone else and let me know in the comment section if you have anything to tell me and if um if um <laughs> anyways leave me a message in the comment section i've missed hearing from you guys okay all right thank you so so much see you in the next video